All right, this is the Lenovo Legion Slim 7. I've been using it for two weeks now, and uh, I went ahead, I did some hardware upgrade. But before I get into that, let me tell you the specs of this laptop. This laptop comes with a 16 gig of memory. It comes with a RTX graphic cards. It comes with a Ryzen 7 has a processor and it also has some great IO, enough IO for your daily workflow and so forth. And plus the form factor of this one is really slim. I like the, the lightweight of it. I got this laptop because I use DaVinci and DaVinci requires this particular type of resources or higher, but I've been very happy with their performance so far. However, things got even better after upgrading two items only, and that's the SSD and the memory. Now for the SSD, I went with a one terabyte SSD, and for the memory, I added 32 gig of memory, which sums up to 40 gig of memory. However, I couldn't go higher than that because there is eight gig that is soldered into the motherboard and uh, there is no way to remove that. And the other eight gig, which made 16 gig stock, removing the eight gig will, will leave the laptop with eight gig of memory and adding 32 gig of memory. That sums up to 40 gig of memory. I hope that does not confuse you, all right? So I did the upgrade. Now let me share with you the result that I got uh, after the upgrade. I did a benchmark with Cinebench and this is what I got with single core and uh, the before and after and this is what I got with multi-core before and after. As of video uh, rendering, this is what I got uh, on 4K video rendering and uh, what I got on 4K video rendering after. Now look at, look at the video rendering. It almost cuts the time into half for both, whether it's 4K and 1080p. And that, it, it's just impressive. And that's just impressive. Only those two hardware I've upgraded. Now, remember, for, for the memory, specifically for the memory speed, I can only go up to 3200 because the memory that is soldered on this motherboard only has a speed of 3200. I cannot go above that. Even if I get a 4800 or 4500 uh, speed for one module, the laptop will only compensate the lowest speed. So getting a higher speed will just be a wasted money. That's why you need, you have to match what is soldered on the motherboard and what you're buying uh, after market. And overall, using the laptop after those upgrades, I, can, I definitely did see an improvement when I used DaVinci. Everything, everything is rendering faster. Everything is responding faster. And all right, that's, that's really about it. I just wanted to give you this quick rundown on the hardware upgrade that I did. A full review of this, it's coming soon. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification because you don't wanna miss the goodies about this and the worst parts about this laptop. Thank you, and I'll catch you on the next one.